Welcome to today's recording of Building a Business Website. Why does my business need a website and how do I create one? For the Texas Workforce Commission. Welcome. In today's webinar, we will learn more about the benefits of having a business website, some possible things to include and consider, and how to create a website for your child care business. The information contained here has been prepared by Civitas Strategies Early Start and is not intended to constitute legal, tax, or financial advice. The Civitas Strategies Early Start team has used reasonable efforts in collecting, preparing, and providing this information, but does not guarantee its accuracy, completeness, adequacy, or currency. The publication and distribution of this information are not intended to create, and receipt does not constitute an attorney, client, or any other advisory relationship. Reproduction of this information is expressly prohibited. Today's conversation. Why does my business need a website? How can I create a website? What should I include on my business's website? And how do I share this website with others? One very important part of making sure that your business is properly represented is by having your own website. In this guide, we will review why a website is important for your business and how building a website is much easier and less expensive than you might think. We will walk you through ideas to consider when building a website and we'll also give you some ideas for making your website easy to find online. Why does my business need a website? Websites are a necessity for remaining visible in the busy childcare market and for your growing business. You may wonder why does your business need a website? Some small business owners do not think that having a website will be worth the time and effort, but nothing could be further from the truth. Websites are a necessity for remaining visible in the busy childcare market and for growing your business. A well-made website can increase your business's credibility. When researching their options, parents and families are looking for evidence that childcare business is well-established and reputable. And a website will allow those in search of childcare to see the many benefits of enrolling children in your program. Why does my business need a website? A website is the perfect place to show who you are, share what you stand for, showcase your business, and attract new families. Imagine that you had hours to explain all that your business has to offer to each potential family. A website can illustrate the many positive aspects of your business all in one place and can be viewed in a short amount of time. A website will allow parents and caregivers to learn about your business when it's most convenient for them, such as after work or on weekends. In many ways, having a website is equivalent to being available 24 hours a day to answer questions, show the environment what children will be cared for, and help families learn about what sets your childcare business apart. A website is the perfect place to show who you are and what you stand for. It allows you to showcase your brand and that is especially important as you work to attract new business. What should I include on my website? Effective websites offer multiple pages of information. You may want to consider using the following areas as you create your website. A home landing page. This is the first impression the viewer will have of your website and is meant to serve as a friendly introduction to your business. An About Us page. This is where you can share a little about yourself and your staff members to help families get to know you and your program better. A page featuring articles and resources. Having a page with links to reputable sources, articles, and information can be very helpful to your families. Now, we'll dig a little deeper into each of these parts. Landing page. This is where you'll want to include your contact information, such as your business phone number, email address, and links to your business social media accounts. This is how potential and current families can quickly find how to reach you. Also include the physical address of your program and the hours you are open for care and on which days of the week. If your program offers part-time attendance, you'll want to share that too. On this page, you could also state your tuition rates if you choose. This page is also a great place to include any promotions at your child care program such as multiple child discounts, and perhaps include your tuition assistance policy, which features your willingness to assist families in need. Some other 
things that you can include on your home landing page could be a way to highlight photos of the spaces you share with children. While it is tempting to use generic or stock photos, families want to see the indoor outdoor spaces you share with children. A calendar of upcoming activities and events can help current families plan ahead and show prospective families the types of experience they can expect at your program. Including a drop-down menu with links to quickly direct families to frequently requested resources is helpful to both you and your families. In this space, you can also share the benefits you receive from participating in a child and adult care food program, or CACFP. Another consideration is to share the outdoor play and sports activities the children in your program experience and approaches to creative play. An About Us page lets families get to know you and your staff members a little better. You could highlight your years of experience and your background on this page. You could also list your qualifications and certifications. Sharing your interests and passions helps families get to know you better and strengthens your connection. This is a great place to include short biographies of your longer term employees and note their accomplishments. Consider including a few reviews from former or current parents and family members. With resources and articles. Consider having a page that features articles and information that families will find useful. Be sure that your resources and articles are linked to or cited by reputable sources. You can include articles that discuss child development and share with families what they can expect and some common behaviors at each age of development. You can share some parenting tips or secrets to success that you've learned throughout this work. Having an article or resource for families about transitioning to childcare is helpful too. You could also include a description for families to look for when they are choosing a childcare program. Defining what those components of quality care are and expressing why it matters to their child's growth and development can help them make the best decision for their family. As you can see, having multiple pages on your website not only increases its function, it highlights all of the many facets of your child care business. More tips on how I can create a business website. Creating a business website can seem like a daunting task but you do not need to be a computer or technology expert to create one. Many easy to use sites can help you create a highly functioning website that serves your needs. A starting point for your website is having ideas about what you would like your domain name to be. Think of your domain name as your website's name and determining where you will purchase and register your domain name. Domain names are purchased from sites such as Google or one of the many other sites that can help you purchase and register your website's name. You can conduct a Google search for domain registration and you will find many options. Purchasing and registering your domain name does not have to be expensive. You'll find many options available for under $50 per year. One thing to keep in mind when purchasing and registering a domain name is that your first choices may be taken. So it is a good idea to have a list of multiple potential website names that are easy to remember and accurately reflect your business's name. The easier it is for someone to remember your domain name, the more likely they are to reach your site. Once you have purchased and registered your domain name, it is time to design your website. Websites can be created using services such as Google Sites, Wix, and Squarespace. When deciding on a web building service, you will need to decide what features are important to you. Determine your budget, if you would like many template or designs to choose from, and how easy the site is to navigate. You may have other needs or concerns in your research services to keep in mind. How can I create a business website? One important benefit to using web building services is that the steps are logical and easy to follow. The following steps generally hold true for most website building services. Providers can create an account using their email address and a password. You'll answer basic questions about what type of business you have and about what you would like to achieve with your website. You can then choose a template or layout that reflects the image you want your website to portray, such as casual or formal. 
Decide if you would like to include images, either your own or stock photos, and leave enough space for the text you'd like to include. Determine how many pages you would like your website to be. This is time for you to have fun and experiment. With most sites, you can view past designs and layouts. You may want to design several and then compare your work. Throughout the process, pause designing and observe how your website is progressing to make sure you are happy with what you are creating. When using these tools, keep in mind the goals you have for your website and that it includes all of the information that you are hoping to share. Once you have completed your design, it is important to make sure that you set aside time monthly to update the changes to your site and you feel comfortable doing so. How do I make sure my website is seen online? If one of your important goals is to use your website to grow your business, then your website must be found when someone is conducting a Google or Bing search for local childcare. Upon completing your website, some of the initial actions you can take are Verify and claim your business profile through Google. Once the step has been completed, your business name will appear in a list of local childcare businesses with your contact information and links to your social media. You can verify and claim your business's Google resource connected to this video. Once your business has been verified, you may want to use the Google service, Small Business Advisors, which can give you step-by-step -step guidance on how to connect with your intended audience. How do I share my website with others? Once your website has been created and is live, you can begin to advertise your web address on your marketing materials and share your website with families. You should consider including a QR code on marketing materials as an effective way of linking your website. You can find more information on creating a QR code through our market planning tool on childcare.texas.gov. Be sure to include your website address in all of your social media and create posts announcing your website's launch. You have put much thought, time, and care into creating your site, and now is your chance to show all that you and your business have to offer. If you happen to have questions, you can find more information on our website at childcare.texas.gov, where you can also sign up for one-on-one -on -one assistance with a business coach. Also included on the site are links to business resources in English and Spanish, as well as a form you can submit to request free business coaching. Coaching services are also available in both English and Spanish. Thank you for your time today.